Imagine you're a dragon. You live underground, and you've only met seven other dragons during your whole entire lifetime. And above all that, you're expected to stop a war. Well, to E.T. Sutherland's book, Wings of Fire, The Dragonette Prophecy, explains how it is for young dragonette clay to be one per, uh, to be a dragon in a prophecy so i'm going to be reading a few pages in this book so yeah let's get started oh and there's also an amazon link in the description so check it out if you like the book So I'm going to read the Dragonette Prophecy. When the war has lasted 20 years, the Dragonettes will come. When the land is soaked in blood and tears, the Dragonettes will come. Find the sea-winged egg of deepest blue. Wings of night shall come to you. The largest egg in mountain high will give, you the to, will give to you the wings of the sky. For wings of earth search through the mud for an egg the color of dragon blood. And hidden alone from rival queens, a sandwich egg awaits unseen. Of three queens who blister and blaze and burn, two shall die and one shall learn. If she bows to a faith that is stronger and higher, she'll have the power to wings of fire. Five eggs to hatch on the brightest night, five dragons born to end the fight. Darkness will rise to bring the light, the dragonettes are coming. Prologue. A dragon was trying to hide in the storm. Lightning flickered across the dark clouds. Hiviter clutched his fragile cargo closer. If he could make it over the mountains, he'd be safe. He'd escape the sky dragon's palace unseen, and the secret cave was so close. But his theft had not been as stealthy as he thought, and his eyes, as black as obsidian, were already tracking him from, be from below. The enormous dragon on the mountain ledge had pale golden scales that radiated heat like a desert horizon. Her black eyes narrowed, watching the gleam of silver wings far up in the clouds. She flickered her tail, and behind her two more dragons rose to the sky and dove into the heart of the storm. A piercing shriek echoed off the mountains as their talons seized the moon-pale ice dragon. Bind his mouth, the waiting dragon ordered as her soldiers dropped Hiviter on the thick, wet ledge in front of her. He was already inhaling, ready to attack. Quickly! One of the soldiers grabbed the chain from the pile of smoldering coals. He threw it around the ice dragon's snout, clamping his jaws together with a sizzling of a smell of burning scales. Hiviter let out a muffled scream. Too late. The sand dragon's forked tongue slithered in and out of her mouth. You won't be using your freezing death breath on us, ice dragon. He was carrying this queen burn, said one of the soldiers, handing her a dragon egg. Burn squinted at the egg through the downpour. This is not an ice wing egg, she hissed. You stole this from the ice sky wing palace. The ice wing stared back at her. Hissing steam circled a snout where the hot chains met cold silver scales. You said they got away unnoticed, didn't you? Burn said. I mean, you thought they got away, you got away unnoticed, didn't you? Burn said. My Skywing ally is not a fool. Queen Scarlet knows everything that happens in her kingdom. Her lookout reported an ice wing thief sneaking away, and I decided finding you might add some violence to my boring visit. Burn held up the large egg up to the light of the fire and turned it slowly. Red and gold shimmered below the pale, smooth surface. Yes. This is a skywing egg about to hatch, Burn mused. Why would my sister send you to steal a skywing dragonette? Blaze hates any dragon younger and prettier than she is. She thought for a moment as rain drummed on the ledge around them. Unless the brightest night is tomorrow, 
Her tail flicked up like a scorpion's, the poisonous barb inches from Hivater's eyes. You're not in Blaze's army, are you? You're one of those ins insipid underground peace mongers. The talons of peace, said one of the soldiers. You mean they're real? Burn snorted, a few worms crawling, crying over a little blood. Blood. Unwrap his change. He won't be able to freeze us until his scales cool down. The enormous sand dragon leaned closer as their soldiers pulled the chain away. Tell me, ice dragon, do you really believe that pompous old Nightwing's prophecy? Haven't you... Haven't enough dragons died for the, your war, snarled Hiviter, wincing at the pain in his jaws. All of Pyria has suffered for the last 12 years. The prophecy says, I don't care. No prophecy decides what happens to me, Bern interrupted. I'm not letting a bunch of words or baby dragons choose from when I die or what I bow to. We can have peace when my sisters are dead, and I am queen of the sand wings. Her venomous tail dipped closer to the silver dragon. Rain pattered on Hiviter's scales. He glared up at her. The dragonettes are coming, whether you like it or not, and the choose who the next sand wing queen is should be. Really? Burn stepped back and turned the egg slowly between her talons. Her forked tongue split out in a smile. So, Icewing, is this egg a part of your pathetic prophecy? The turn went still. Burn tapped sight lightly on the eggshell with one long talon. Hello, she called. Is there a dragon of destiny in here? Ready to come out and end this big, bad war. Leave it alone, Hiviter chucked out. Tell me, Burn said, what becomes of your previous prophecy? Precious prophecy, if one of the five dragons never hatched at all, you wouldn't, he said. No one would harm a dragon egg. His blue eyes were fixed desperately on her talons. No wings of sky to help save the world, Burns said. What a sad, sad story. She began tossing the egg from one claw to the other. I guess that means you should be very, very, very careful with this terribly important egg. Oops. If you want to hear the rest... Read the book, Wings of Fire, The Dragon Up Prophecy, by Tui T. Sutherland. Bye.